Hello guys, a good uh, afternoon. Once again, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. You are welcome to Cartridge Solution Academy. In here, we give you great information, uh, learning information, guiding information about uh, cartridge farming in general. Uh, we have series of uh, content on this uh, channel that is uh, there to help many farmers to do well in their business. Note, the channel is uh, to show you most of the practical doings in cartridge farming. That means you'll be seeing lot and trees of uh, farms being exhibited so that you as an intending farmer can really gain one or two things from uh, all these farms you have been seeing. Some of the practical um, training, teachings that you are also viewing team, viewing, viewing also is to help you, to guide you, to make you a better person in the catfish farming generally in Africa. We have been talking to many people and uh, I bet you this have been helping a lot of farmers to grow and to do well. Before much I do, before I go much into the topic for today, because as you know, uh, I normally make most of my video, most especially my supplies, as a lecture for you guys to really tap into one or two things in uh, the business we call cartridge farming. Uh, today is the 24th of uh, February 2021, 22, and today I'm making some uh, delivery to Adamo at Ikorodu. For those of you that have been following me on this video, I will want to, I'm making the title of this video in order to remind you guys of what I said about some particular farms here in Nigeria that are steady enough, practically enough, and doing well in catfish farming. From my previous video, I think I released that three or four days ago, I was talking about how to turn around $3,000 in catfish farming on a daily basis, which I know that is very, very possible. Very possible. There are a lot of things you can involve yourself into that can turn around good returns for you in cartridge farming, which is still under the valuation. I normally go through some uh, uh, some write-ups of some uh, farmers, uh, modifications farmers, that talks about how to make a, a profit in cartridge farming. But uh, most of the topics do talks about the value chains in cartridge farming. And I'll bet you, you can never, there's one, uh, I did a lecture on my WhatsApp group, and uh, one of my book is coming out to, which I can be telling you how to explore the value chain of a cartridge farming. In the end, I'm going to state nothing less than 50 value chains you can tap into cartridge farming that can be giving you money on a daily basis. And if you are the likes that likes to deal with dollars, you are the likes that like to deal with foreign currency, these are the opportunity, these opportunities are also involved that you can make very good return for yourself in the uh, card feature farming circle. So make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel as you are watching and make sure that you click on the notion button. Why the notion button? This will tell you when I release new videos on this channel. It's very, very important. And uh, make sure that you like and share. And for those of you that have already subscribed to this YouTube channel, I bid you welcome and I say very big thank you to you guys. And uh, I cry it all that God will bless you and will promote you in every ways that you intend going in life. I basically, this uh, channel is generally for God and uh, I so much appreciate God in this channel and as it is growing just a bit in the gradual process and I appreciate God in my life too as well. So with that, I'll have to crown 
uh, today's topic, uh, which I title How to Make Bomber Harvest on Catfish Farming. What does this really matter? This really means that harvesting is uh, that time we as a farmer is waiting for to count our losses or count our profit. Sorry that I put losses. It is very, very important that any business that you involve in, there is an epitome of either you lose or you gain. That means is either it's positive or negative. God makes life positive and negative so that it can be effective for human uh, kind. If there is no positive and negative, things will never work. So what this really implies? It implies that if you are in any business and by the end of the day you fail in that business, that will automatically tell you that you are going to make a very good profit in that business. I'm not saying that you have to fail in every business, but it is a guarantee that if you fail in any business, you will have to speed up and meet up and overcome those that have not failed before. But the only way you can scrape your uh, case through all these hurdles are when you go through a guided mentor, when you are not greedy enough to spend, when you are not greedy enough for information. I said it in my last video that if information is free, nobody, the information and knowledge is free, nobody, nobody will go to school. You have to go to school, you have to go to the university to acquire knowledge and information and understanding. That is why you can distinguish yourself from those people that did not go to school. Distinguish between an illiterate and illiterate is how you can implement your information, your understanding, and your knowledge, how you can be how you can create it and form it to productivity to womankind. So as you can be watching from this background, I told you about this farm. This farm we supply this farm on a day on a weekly basis. At least sometimes we supply to uh, every two two weeks. We supply every two two weeks to this farm, and this farm has a capacity of nothing less than fifty thousand pieces of uh, uh, fishes. They have over uh, one hundred thousand, one hundred fifty thousand pieces of uh, melange. And thank God that this farm has been exploring this opportunity and have been putting it into place and i bet you this farm is doing well so we have I've started loading this farm around uh, we started the loading around 5 a.m in the morning so that we can meet up with the traffic on the way because today we are going uh, on a not at weekend now but we are going during the week so that is why an ikrodu road is somehow busy it can be predictable. So we are making sure that we get there before the sun. As you also know that during the day presently, it's very, very arch. These are what you need to know as a prosperous fish farming depends on the area you really want to go into catfish farming. You must understand what you call your temperature. You must understand what you call your weather. You must understand what you call your water. So these are the three things that we guide us in when and how we have to move our seedlings depending on the destination you are going. If we are going in the afternoon, there's a way we prevent our fishes that by the end of the day, by the time we take like 10,000 pieces to a farm, we will not be losing nothing less, just maybe two or three of it as mortality. So this farm do collect seed from me on every two weeks and I bet you the two weeks does not shake and this farm sells every two weeks am I making sense this farm you are watching sells nothing less than three tons of fishes 
of may launch fishes and big size fishes every two weeks. It is not easy though, but I will tell you, I will use the story of this farm and my story to tell you how you can make bumper harvest in future farming at present time. So I will not, I will be telling you the, my topic for today is all about expertise. It's all about experiences over time. It's not all about the normal jingles that you guys do here everywhere on social media. So, and before I go, I will make for those of you that have not gotten my ebook, which I titled The Secret of the Successful Cartridge Farming and the Calculation of Cartridge Feeding Chart. I will encourage you guys to go and get all those copies of this book. They are sheep books. I don't know why people, but my problem is that people ask me questions regarding to this book on a daily basis, which tells me that people don't really know how important this book is. But by the time you refer them to just get a book of like two, three thousand naira, they, I don't know, they don't want to learn. I don't know why you will stock just, let me say, a little 1,000 fishes in your farm, and you can't use 3,000 or 5,000 or 10,000 to acquire knowledge, to skip through all these oddlies, all these oddlies of questioning, all this gambling. So make sure that you get a copy of my books. The copy of my books is what I will be using today to give you these little lectures that I will be giving today. This farm, we supply this farm a fish for four months. And I will tell you by the time I got to the farm, my client is telling me that this is the fish I supplied four months ago and the fishes most of them are above one kilo. Most of them are above one kilo. We, inside our fishes that I saw, I see some that are still 1.5, 1.6, 1.7. You see, the truth is that it may be, it may be magical to some people. It may, be, it may be unbelieving to some people. But I will tell you the truth, that people are making it in cartridge farming. My client is a guru. My client is a working class man, distinguished man. He left the job, that means he retired and faced fish farming and other business. I will tell you the truth. He took upon all the business he's doing. He has about 80% of his time for fish farming. In this farm you are seeing, they have a feed melon, they have a hatchery department, they have a grow house department. But by the end of the day, because of our expertise and the way we have talked, because of my mentorship, I'm giving these fishes seeds every two, two weeks. And the, is, they are marvelous. They are doing marvelously. Things are working out for them. They have faced a lot of challenges that the, the farm is already closing down when I came in. And I, if you watch from my video, you can watch down from my video that I, I see my video when we started the encouragement and the mentorship in this farm. But I bet you, to, we started with this farm with just maybe 3,000 pieces of fishes when things started going down, when things are not really working. But I'll bet you now what you see, all the fishes you see in this fish are supplied by me and they are doing extremely great. They follow all the process that I will be just be telling you maybe two things today. Note, this video today is just a um, motivating and inspirating uh, verbal uh, expression on uh, productivity for you guys. So, if you really want to have a bubble harvest in cartridge farming, the first thing I will advise you is one, I, I normally repeat it, Work with a visionistic mentor. It is very, very important. You can't do without this. You can't be prosperous without this. 
in everything you do in life, you must have a referee. So work with a visionistic mentor that what are mentor for? They are encouragers. They are mind builders. They are future seekers. Those are the people that can tell you what you can do. That can sense if you are failing or not. That can give you encouragement. And I told you, if you really want to progress in life without encouragement, you can never progress. So make sure that you are encouraged. Be encouraged in everything you are doing. Get a person beside you. And let me tell you the joker. If I normally read this online. When some people are doing maybe trainings for people online, some people comment, why are you charging us? Come to my farm and learn it for free. They are liars. <coughs> Farmers are secretives. They don't want to give information. I'm telling you the truth. I've been, in, I've, been in, I've been a farmer for over 25 years. They don't give information. What I mean by they don't give information is that, okay, just a simple question. Ask a neighbor beside you that you need a contact of who is buying his, uh, his grow out. Maybe, just, maybe you want to sell your home and you just say, please, can you help me with the person that is buying your fish? You, you can see that that is even more, more cheaper. You will see that that person will be hiding that number for you. I don't know the reason the person is hiding the number for you. Because one, the buyers need customers to buy market from every day. They are looking for market. And you are hiding them. And that is meaning these are, these are those people that are leveraging you, which I've talked about. These are these people that are making money from, from farmers. And you are still hiding their number. You are turning them into, into a super god. You are making things difficult for a farmer like you. That is one. Another thing is that that person that said, come and get me from me, tell that person that, please, I need a chauffeur from your farm. It will demand money from you. So the truth is, social media have really helped a lot of people to achieve. There are numerous people I don't see in my life that are mentored, and I bet you they are doing great. Good information and good understanding about life is what you really need to grow yourself. So I must tell you, I must, be, I must encourage you guys to stick, to really know what you are doing in life. Business is not a joke. What you invest, what you invest just 1,000 naira on, it's not a joke. Not, not, not talking about your invested million and you think you can gamble with that million. So before I go again, I will tell you that what can really grow you in this business is what we call persistency. Be persistent in what you are doing. Be creative in what you are doing. Try an error. Do researches. Put some fishes in a place. Feed them with what I told you, with my formulation. Try them and see what it will give you. Take some fishes. Put them in another place. Use a brand of feed for them. Waste it and see what will come out of it. Please. Lastly, today, because I have not even captured over, I'm just maybe at 5% and, I, and the time is already run by because I'm using a little time for this video. So another thing I want to tell you is that you must have the zeal of value and achievable. Try to make progress in your business. Try to take your business as serious as, as possible. Make sure that you are persistent. I said it and I'm still repeating it. Persistency may be huge for people. You may be denoting it in a dictionary way, but I'm telling you it's better for you to, to connote it. Connote it. Be persistent. There are a lot of things involved in what I mean by persistency. A persistent person is the person with good room for research. A persistent person is the person who does not have an heart of failure. A persistent people is the people that believe that many people they say this business is not profitable, but me, I know I must make profit. A persistent person is the person that 
listen to people. I will tell you, my client listened to me. He already bought all my books. He had all my books, even my books on the financial matters. He bought them. He bought my books on uh, how to write a comprehensive business plan. He bought my book on how to start a business with nothing, which are financially terms books. He has everything. And okay, tell me, tell me now, why will you buy all my books? Listen to me on a daily basis. Listen to my lectures on WhatsApp. Pay for my mentorship. And you think you will call me at the hedge of your challenges or at the tail end of your challenges and you it won't get resolved please if i don't even have a solution for it because of your mindset i know god will definitely intervene and work things out for you so with this i'll be going on today's lecture uh, i will continue with this and I will be dropping the video tomorrow. Please make sure that you want to watch that video too as well. That is the video will come in after this. This is a backup of this uh, lecture that you had today. And in that, I tell you how to weigh your fishes, how to know the balance of your fishes, how to know if your fish are doing well or not. So all this you'll be enjoying from this video. There are practical videos that are helping farmers. So once again, thank you so much, and God bless you all. My name still remains Odutola Isabiodo, DTM. Uh, the anchor of Catfish Solution Place Academy, where we give you in-depth information about catfish farming. Thank you, can you now and God bless you.